Hi, I'm Yoshita Kamiyake, and I work for the Graduate School of Environmental Studies at Nagoya University. And my presentation is brief, short, to talk about the urban farmers' market and organic farming and how they are connected and its main function. So there's a farmer's market for organic farmers in Nagoya, and that's called the Oasis 21 Organic Farmers Asaiti Mura. So Asaiti Mura means morning market village. And that started in October 2004. And that's held on Saturday morning in Sakae, Nagoya. So that's the middle of the commercial district of Nagoya. And actually, city rents a location for free. So there, the farmer's market is, doesn't pay the rent. And there are about 70 farmers participating in the market recently. And to participate, farmers pay 1,000 yen a day for the event. So the low fee can really sustain the farmer's market in this location. And this is not just a market the farmers come and sell the organic vegetables. This is actually the market for the new farmers. So new organic farmers started the production and they secure sales channels participating in this farmer's market. So there were about 14 farmers in 2004. And because of this function, the market accepts four or five new farmers each year. So by participating in the market, new farmers can find and secure their loyal or fun customers. And later on, the prefecture's extension services take advantage of the market or use the market as a location to train organic farmers. So that can supplement the prefecture's work to train the new organic farmers. So let me just talk about some impact of COVID-19 in this small location. And at the time of emergency announcement, the market actually got closed and they actually moved the location to another place temporarily. But they moved back to the original locations last month. But you can see they have the numbered ticket for the customers to enter the market. So you can see some you know, birds surrounding the market so that they can avoid the high density of the customers. So let me talk about two farmers really quickly. And these farmers sell the vegetable and the rice and their farm location is 50 kilometers from Nagoya. And he said the sale to the restaurant dropped by COVID-19. And this is another farmer and he drove 18 kilometers to the market. And he sells various kinds of product. And it was really interesting to hear, you know, this type of farmers. And when we talk about the government support, he said the his home city actually subsidizes the highway fee to come to the market. And it doesn't only apply to organic farmers, it also applies to the conventional farmers, but he can certainly use that city support of his hometown to come to the market. So let me briefly conclude this presentation. And when we think about the green infrastructure and 
I just wonder, you know, is farmers market in Nagoya green infrastructure, you know, we people probably say yes, but it's not quite the green space or the urban green itself, but it actually provides some, you know, landscape, highly visible place of organic farming and food to sustain in Nagoya. And it's a critical infrastructure for health conscious, health conscious consumers and that sustain the organic farming in the surrounding regions. And it actually educates the farmers and the consumers in the middle of artificial built environment of Nagoya. So we kind of have to think about the space of agriculture and food in the green infrastructure. And probably there should be some you know, in between green infrastructure and that can be hidden in the city, and we might have to think about what kind of indicators can be applied to this or various types of these partial green infrastructure, what that kind of stuff. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, this is my presentation.